Here comes the ultimate review, my friends. Because the mini set is fully revealed. That means we're going to take a look back into how the meta metagame shaped up to be in the very end. While at the same time reviewing the new mini set cards and seeing if, uh, if that's pretty cool. I'm not sure which order I'm supposed to do things. We, ha we have our trusted data. Go down. Uh, and now after the experience. Howdy, partner. How My reviews are special. We're talking about uh, game design problems, right? Especially after the rant, we know what cards actually completely obliterate the game. We have our trusty triangle of horror. If Blizzard prints cards like these, we're fucked, basically. Because this shit shapes up the metagame the most. If you get paid for flooding the board a bunch of times, and that's your win condition, it's pretty upsetting, I'm not gonna lie. If you get paid for having too many Borklers in your deck... Wow, that's fucking boring. I don't want to get cleared over and over again. And I don't want to... Let people win with control decks with just one card swinging the entire game. Upside down. As if I'm supposed to like counter that one card. Pissing me off. Anyways. Viper, am I right? Viper. I wish Viper would remove Odin from the game. Or some other crap that uh, doesn't let me sleep at night, to be honest. Anyways, so we're looking for the, those three things, but let's first review the cards, uh, the new ones. I believe that's the mini set, because there's less stuff here. Alright. There's the bad design and good design. And yes, because I'm making my own card game, I need to know that shit. And yes, now I'm actually making the card game, alright? Actively. I care about this stuff right now. I used to be, like, super stressed because of a lot of noise going on. And somehow that stopped. What a fucking miracle that is. Anyways, um... Let's see the cards, let's see what we're getting. Let's see if it uh, changes anything whatsoever. I, can, I can already see that Paladin is getting something really stupid. Because they all already like flooding the board and this is like ridiculously sticky. Minion, I don't, I don't like any of this stuff. Probably this is only playable in Death Knight, right? Another super sticky minion, but these two classes don't have a payoff. That's what I mean, my friends. This thing shapes the metagame so much that it doesn't fucking matter if you have sticky minions because you're not going to fucking buff them anyways. One thing you probably... Okay, this is not even undead. I don't know what this is supposed to do. This is probably pretty cool to play. I like minions like that. Tone death rattle. Uh, you can't go wrong with that, but, you know, you have to win the game at the same time. Apparently. But, you know, like, cards like these are pretty cool. Should I give plus or minus? I'll give, uh, yeah, good and bad. This, this is bad. I don't like it. It's too much stuff for two mana. Uh, especially knowing that Frail Ghoul has charge, first of all. That's pretty crazy. And doesn't die until the end of your turn. Specifically your turn. This is some fucked up shit. I have not seen a more fucked up card for two men. Like, what? Obviously, like, how else would you do it? Could you do it that three mana? I don't know, bro. I just hate it already. Discover a beast and then spot their stats. This is cool card. Uh, I want to see what happens with this intriguing and uh, this is kind of boring i don't care 
we skip stuff like that. There's there's stuff in between, and we don't even give points for that. Uh, so uh, eleven classes. Let's keep that in mind. But there's dual classes too, so it's kind of awkward. There's going to be a lot of repetition. Uh, to all me, okay, Borkler. But it goes to both ways, and uh, Demon Hunter already has a lot of shitty Borklers that go both ways, and they don't like playing that right now. So I don't think that saves them. See, a Borkler to be this, to go into this red area that burns your eyes out, has to be one-sided, has to be Tempo Borkler. Then it's just absolute insanity, my friends. But let's continue. So it doesn't help, but it's it's cool, you know, it's cool. Except your opponent gets to play around it, it's not even as powerful as like three damage to everything, right? It's just two. So it's kind of super weak, I don't know how you can make use of that. But it's a very interesting one. I don't think we have seen this before besides delayed Borkler for Demon Hunter. So they're, they're just throwing it out there, it's... It's interesting. It's more, it feels like a filler card, right? Two damage, if it survives, give your hero three attack. What the fuck? Well, plus, plus three damage if you want. I don't know how to evaluate cards like that. These are like super boring. Uh, but yeah, as Zeddy says, it, it goes to Naga DH, and I don't know what else to say, guys. Because it's plus three damage. And Warrior doesn't actually do stuff like that. Doesn't care anymore. Uh, choose a damage minion, summon a copy. Goes dormant one turn. This could be very interesting. Yeah, another like super weird like combo thing you can do with this. You can protect your minions in a way by making dormant copies. I don't know, bro. I'll just it's a location, it's a very weird that it's a dual class location. We haven't seen that before. So uh I like it. We're not supposed to read too deep into it, it's just like, it's either an interesting card or not. I don't think Quick Pick is too interesting. There's not much you can do with it, you know. I'm gonna draw two cards and get an attack, but... It's weird how uh, fascinating it is, right? And also enables this card draw weapon thing. The identities are there, like, mix, mixed up in there. So it sort of is actually pretty good. When we have explored Demon Hunter identities, uh, it mixes up quite well. But it's just two of them, right? It's card draw and weapon. The, the thing that makes it cool is that it's cheap. And then you understand, like, my, uh, I mean, Hearthstone is kind of stupid card game, isn't it? Do you know what I'm referring to? I'm referring to the fact that only cheap cards feel good. Everything else feels like shit. You know, if it's a card of four mana and above, then it kind of feels like shit, to be honest, playing the card. Unless it breaks the game, and then it's like, it's okay to play the card, but it still feels like shit, because you're still playing one card. I don't like this stuff, man. But it's uh detour a little bit. But I'm just saying, like, smaller cards are more reasonable. Take your weapon. This is a very interesting card. I don't I don't even want to try and explain it. Uh, Zeddy was trashing this card, but I think this is a very good one. Because you get to 10 mana very quickly, and uh, defensive tools like that, this is pretty fucking crazy. This is, uh, yet again, we get a board fill. Extraordinary board fill. 
you would think you would just like, oh, play Dragon Druid and get the same effect. But you still need a lot of dragons. It's a very specific deck. This goes into anything. So, also you just tramp sometimes if you're insane. Three round. Like, maybe in some cases you need that. I see it's good. And we're seeing a lot of good cards so far. They're really fucking trying very hard on this mini set specifically, it feels like. Uh, if we go back to the data... We also saw Showdown in the Badlands is actually at 61%. I don't think it stays at 61. Every single expansion went down, I think. After the experience. Except Festival of Legends actually went up. And significantly up. That is crazy. In fact, Festival of Legends was never defeated. At 59%. Never defeated. Uh, we can take a quick glance, but I don't know if we have time for that. And discover a minion, blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. I I appreciate a card like this. I'm not sure how to use it at all. Like, I don't think it's that useful. But for combo purposes, maybe one copy of this. It's a nature spell, too, so it's very considerable to be played. Like, I'm... I have to give it a good because it's intriguing. And for the first time in forever, and I I don't know how I feel about this, but Priest gets armor. What the fuck is that? Or, man, I, I thought only Mage is going to be like one of those weird classes with armor. Now Priest too. Congratulations, Priest. Welcome to the band. Choose a minion and add a copy to your hand, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure what to do with this. I, what am I supposed to do with it? You can choose any minion. That's good. Uh, I still don't know. It's a very weird card. I, like I, I played Druid. I should know what to do with cards like these, but I, I have no idea. Cause Druid doesn't play like big minions or like useful minions. That stay on the board and do things. Like, what's the point? Is it somehow a tempo card? Is it somehow like I'm getting a zero cost minion that has giant stats? I don't understand. This I understand. And this one fucking duped Zeddy himself, bro. And triggered me to oblivion. He thinks this is a bad card. I have news for him. This is fucking three mana. You have to like read this number successfully. All right. And technically, like you, you're gonna deal like seven damage on average. What the, with a three drop, seven damage spread spread out. I, I appreciate this stuff. I probably won't build a deck around it, but it's gonna appear very often in my decks. I think. So. uh also, it's a good card. It should be two points for duping, you know, Zeddy. Fooling him. Uh, again, it's not, like, spectacular, but, like, this is very powerful. Random enemy, deal damage to the face. Uh, Druid has no ability to easily deal damage to the face, to finish the opponent, or uh, easily pinging minions, or dealing damage to minions in the first place. This is like the first Borkler they are receiving. This is insane for Druid. On top of just being a good card. That we have never seen before as well. Yes, there's there's fireworks. But we have never seen like things that scale over time just like that. Just, just for free. We saw Mana Thirst and that fucking rules. I played Mana Thirst deck and it just destroys my opponents apparently. This card's too... blah blah blah. I don't like this. This is too complicated for me. Yes, you can forge, but destroy mana crystal or discard two cards. That's a lot, man. That is... for stats. For just a stat taunt. I don't appreciate this at all. I'll actually say it's bad. Because it's too much, too complicated for a very shitty effect. 
is summoning a minion successfully. It has Forge, wow. If only Forge was rewarding somehow. You know, for every single force that you do, something happens, but nope. Ignis just gives you a win condition, congratulations. Uh, summon random, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't want to unpack this. This is too complicated for me. I don't think it's going to be played even. Mm, this one is very interesting. I'll, I'll say it's good. It's way too interesting to not see play, right? This one, I don't care about Arcane Hunter that much to give this a rating. Mm -hmm, we see that, we see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I don't care much. This is seemingly too weak and too unstable to be effective when played. But it is a companion, so it has pretty cool stats, I guess. I, I don't know what to say, bro. You obviously want this, and then you do Exodia Mage. Easy. And then you summon random... Um, what is... Ar Archmage Antonidas Companion, you know. Just uh, need uh, Apprentice Companions and Archmage Antonidas Companions, and then you got Exodia again. Easy. When, uh, yeah. I don't understand how to use this card. Mage doesn't have tempo. So what the fuck is that? I just say it's bad because like, what are you doing with mage anymore? Like you're just making fun of it? You're just printing memes for mage? This, this is a meme for mage. Are you kidding me, my friend? Technically, this is also a meme simply because like mage doesn't play tempo. I'm just saying, bro. The, the only tempo they play is a fucking keyboard. Six damage, yeah, I don't understand this one. Destroy six cards from your deck. Wow. That makes my life so much easier. Who would play a card like this? Is that even powerful in today's game with all the power creep? To just do potentially 12? It is six damage. You can go face. But you no longer go to face anymore, so... Because I will reset the game right after he's a minion and his neighbors and blah 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 and i don't like freeze so i'm probably not gonna give a point for that transform all enemies and in, into one one minions how far are we okay paladin is like the newest one That's annoying. Uh, another f stupid fucking Borkler. <sighs> Shaman plays for tempo a little bit, and Paladin definitely plays for tempo, so it's two points bad. This one card. Even though it's so fucking legendary, even though it requires Excavate. And you kind of see it coming, but you can't play around stuff like this, it's just impossible. And you're screwed. It's another Reno effect, congratulations. Gain two random bonus effect. Excavate a treasure. Also, it silences everything, like, come on, man. Mm-hmm. Mm, interesting. Yeah. I guess. That's a cute card. All of a sudden, this card is so good, it might actually be bounced around up and down, bro. And then uh, it's a nightmare. Then your opponent can't do shit. Give a minion, unless it's Odin Warrior. I don't know. Give a minion Wind Fury and Divine Shields. Wind Fury for the first time in forever, bro. Holy shit. Holy shield. I have nothing else to say. I I like Wind Fury. Finally. Do you know how long I wanted to just give someone Wind Fury? 
Uh, the coin. What? Oh, the treasures. Shaman has a treasure. Okay, the ultimate treasure thing. Oh my fucking god. I swear. Let's not talk about Bruno because it's one of these. It's over here. So you just play aggro and a little bit of excavate and all of a sudden you just burst your board. You don't even necessarily need this to win. But why not? Why not play that too sometimes? Uh, the only question is like, it's it's more of a tempo oriented. It's kind of a disgusting card. Uh, but like, what the hell is this, man? I fucking hate this shit, man. They make a slightly sticky board and all of a sudden they have like 15 damage at very least. And then uh, Wind Fury something. And win the game. Okay, whatever. I don't know how to evaluate this. This is a very unusual card that Priest probably wouldn't want to play. What's the point of this? It doesn't synergize with anything, you know, that's the problem. But this! What the fuck is this, bro? Forever Stealth, Hidden Gem. So now Rogue is... Rogue and Priest is unkill, unkillable creatures now. Yeah, you just do health every turn, but like... To all characters, too. And uh, Priest definitely can synergize with this. Plenty of ways. The only thing that can destroy it is a board clear. So, uh... Boo-hoo, am I right if you don't have it? This is some ridiculous shit. I don't know if uh, it's worth just one bad point. I think it's so insane. And uh, you just copy and paste it in a bunch of times too. Because why not? This is the new, like, aut automaton thing. That you want to, like, resummon a bunch of times. As well, so it doesn't matter how many Borklers your opponent has. Fuck this card, man. This is disgusting. To your hand. Yeah. I like that we've never seen this before. I'll give it a, a good. This is pretty interesting. So yeah, it equalized very fucking quickly. Because Blizzard doesn't know how to fucking keep their shit in their pants. Instead, they dump it on Hearthstone. They can't even find a toilet for that shit. Get a random golden pirate and elemental from... This is cool. This is definitely cool, but... I don't think it's playable, though. Like, just getting random shit that you don't even dis get to discover... Doesn't get uh, much traction. It is, uh, these are minions. So it's worth something. But I'll just pass and roll against that too. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a dual class fucking cancer. I'll actually, I should give it three points of bad because it's a dual class. Like, if it's really, really bad, oh my god. You will see it way, way too often. Uh, gain two armor and draw a card. What the hell? You serious, bro? So we power creeping the Cardra Totem and giving ourselves to armor because fucking Shaman also needs armor. Wow, I'm getting into some next level stuff. I don't think it's that crazy, but definitely playable. I mean, it's just just card draw. It cycles itself out and you have a chance to get more stuff. So, uh, I'm not sure if Warrior can afford to play stuff like this. Because it instantly gets cleared. Warriors can barely defend their boards. 
but shaman almost everyone is gonna have that deal one to all minions three times seems boring oh no oh no now it's pretty powerful but i am not i'm not too upset about this again if it deals to both Zions all of a sudden is kind of weak, but it actually benefits tempo quite a bit this way, right? Because it's two mana and deal three damage and uh spread out so it breaks all divine shields, all the nonsense. This is ridiculously powerful, and if uh Borkler is too powerful, I say it's pretty fucking bad. I will never say that a Borkler is a good design. And if it's too good, it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care about Excavate, and these ones are like actually pretty boring. Well, specifically that, because we already gave a point for this one. And finally, come on. Transforms all other minions into ones that cost three more. Because fuck yeah, bro. Paladin has to get a much better reward than Shaman. I'll say it's bad because I'm fucking jealous for Paladin. They just simply got strictly better reward. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this transform shit? Keeping their... Or what the fuck you mean keeping? All. Oh. Okay, maybe it's not strict. I, I thought it was battle ground. I mean, battlefield. What? I don't understand then. This is kind of cool. This one I can like understand and it's very cool. It's one of those like priest spells, but across everything. Crazy. Uh, any unique cards left? Valkyrie, draw cards, deal damage. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty generic. What about the brand thing? No duplicates. I am actually not sold for brand, but it's a cool card. I actually, I'm not sure. I don't like. Highlander shit, or uh, we should say no dupe at this point. I don't like it. I'm not gonna say it's bad, I just don't care about this stuff. We'll see what happens in the end. If your deck no duped, discover elemental. Yeah, 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 this is a weird one. How is this supposed to be powerful? I don't understand. Like, it's such a fucking high roll. Well, we're gonna see it pop up every now and then, and we're gonna see its power. Again, I, I try to just not even evaluate this stuff. Is this cool? The dragon. Hmm, I'm not sure. Do I play some kind of, like, taunts? What taunts do we have? The neutrals are very intriguing. Double to stats. This is a very cool card. And of course I'll give it a good promising, right? Give each of your minions a random bonus effect. Hmm. It seems like a super cool card, but you really need to give it like rush. I'm not sure if it's playable that easily. Because it's a death rattle. I don't know how you manipulate this stuff. I have to give it a good almost because it's a very interesting minion. It's just not going to be played. Even I'm too scared to actually play this. If you played an element last turn, draw a card. Nah, I don't care. What do we have in there? What kind of taunts at turn five? We get a bunch of unplayable stuff. Uh, 
Talon was playable. And at six, this is kind of fine. This was fine. This was not played. This is not played, even though it's a taunt. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have much. So I guess it does fit something. Doesn't seem half bad. Just because it has life steal it and taunt. Like I see it's good. And the final score is 16 to 16 to plus 9, meaning 25. Or well. I'm not done yet, my friends. We're just getting started. Dex 64%. Holy shit. This is the highest score. Uh, technically, for a mini set. Well, technically, it's the highest score. We have never seen this uh, be higher, at the very least. So that's mini set. That's the plus thing. And now, let's go back to the past and read all this history that we have made in Badlands. Because I hate it. But, my challenge was doing pretty well. Because I, uh, I made it interesting, at the very least. I found some interesting concepts. I had uh, improved my relationship with other Hearthstone people. So, I don't think... Uh, things gotten worse. Do I want th more nerves? Yes, I still want more nerves, guys. There's no way around it. Anyways, any outliers or is just all good? We're probably looking hard by card, unfortunately. We can do this very quickly. I like Pile of Bones. Uh, it's fine. All of this is fine, it seems. Yeah, Death Knight was just getting sweet cards. I, there's nothing problematic. This is a little bit questionable. The, the reward is very questionable. I'll give reward a fucking minus two. Because, God damn it, I hate it. I hate resetting the game all the time. It's so painful. Uh, what? Oh yeah, the plagues are not in this expansion. It's a very important part, however. I don't like this card at all. Is, uh, even though it's not being played very often. This is not played at all. Funny enough. So it must be pretty fucking bad then. I'll just say bad. Why is this not played? Like it's a 7 drop. How did you fail? But in terms of the good ones. So we have at least one. And it feels like you can see it's 2 points. Well, I'm not sure about more important to be honest. It's a very weird card. And Death Knight is weird in general. Yeah, I, I think this is the one that carries. Excavate is kind of meh. Except for the pile of bones because I give a fuck about resummoning something over and over again. What else do we got? Okay, so Demon Hunter. With a bunch of Nagas. Oh, the Wolf is pretty cool. I'll give one for the Wolf. I don't know how this plays into anything. I've never seen it before. So I guess it's sort of a failure. I have to say bad. Alright. Focus here. I still like the design, the idea of like double discover. I'll take that shit, bro. Also, these are not like very expensive cards. It's just a cool design. Obviously, itself it is expensive. I wouldn't craft any class legendaries like that. Ten hammer is awesome. What the demon hunter was treated. This one I actually am not too mad about it, but. It does make a stupid deck. I'm not not gonna give a point either way. I think it's a sweet card, but because it can pop off in way too much, 
and uh, you use discounts at its own advantage. I mean, it makes it like a really weird card. Um, I just don't think it's that consistent. And also you can play around it by simply having minions on the board. I'm not sure what's the maximum output of this, but and how consistent it is, but like you can still you not supposed to be too scared of this card. But I'm still gonna give it a zero. So plus two. What else? Oh, the chamber is pretty cool, but nothing really stands out here. I don't think. I didn't get the chance to play this. But this is cool. I guess I give the whole thing like plus one as well. Okay, moving on. My favorite class was not treated, and I actually don't like dragons. Apparently. Fuck dragons. Holy shit. I just want to activate one dragon card. And not it, that doesn't include this dragon card, unfortunately. But this one's pretty cool. Apparently this one is like really useful for me. In my uh, adventures of activating a dragon, so... I'll take that, I'll give a uh, one point. Yeah, apparently uh, a card that requires other things to be summoned is... Uh, reasonable well dragon golem can go fuck itself maybe not minus two points but i don't like the idea of it cactus construct is a very cool card a little bit too rng uh dependent because if you can get an egg if you can get a totem it, it gets pretty fucking insane so i actually gonna give a zero i need this card to survive it's very cool you can get very cool stuff but some stuff can actually break the game i still believe you can discover astalor and flint yeah you can definitely discover those it's just so weird. It's such a high roll with this card. The Dragon Tails, I don't know. The Hydrate, I don't care. These cards got nerfed, so I'll give one bonus bad point because they couldn't even design it properly. And uh, take to the skies. Yeah, I, I, I was desperate to draw my dragon. I'm sorry, guys. I have to give it a point. I don't care about this card, so we're just moving on. The most fun thing I'm trying to look for is, again, the final score. This is what we're working towards. Also, I forgot this stuff. And this stuff is really powerful. The Excavate stuff is getting boosted even more. And I appreciate it, but most of the Excavate decks are fucking cancer. I'm still gonna probably play you all of them just to see what what is the most fun deck let's say we make an episode like that and that's pretty cool uh, i'm no longer like desperate to make my own card game and like pump out the updates uh, i can actually settle down to just doing it as a side project and not brag about it every now and then uh Meaning that I, I can just keep pumping videos until I completely get burnt out. But I don't know if uh, Hearthstone is going to treat me nicely. Because uh, it does require mini sets to come out. It does require like changes in the game. And I might even build to twist format or something at some point. Just uh, run away when I feel too much pressure. It depends. <laughs> So I, I have no idea how my content is going to evolve. Deal damage to random enemy minion. This is a... This is a really weird one. We don't get a one mana buff. Beforehand. It's supposed to be... A two mana card. And that's that's a very powerful effect for two mana. This one's supposed to be three mana, I believe. And this one's supposed to be four mana. 
basically plus one man on all of these and this is probably gonna break the game i don't understand what the fuck is this like if if this effect is powerful we don't know but it's a, it's one of those right it's just one of those like super high rolls that even though it's like a discovery it kind of just makes it, it worse more ridiculous at the end of turn deal damage to all enemies that shit's crazy man that's just disgusting oh no i i don't like it man there's more workless more garbage in the pool that's probably just gonna destroy the game but we'll play excavate i guess to find out something all right sneaky snakes Actually, it was not abused. This card was not abused. It's actually surprising. I want to just give a good point simply because, like, I was scared of this shit. And apparently, snakes cannot... Snakes don't have arms and legs and cannot uh, attack you from a great distance. They're just sneaky. Saddle up, I didn't get a chance to play. And I feel like the beasts that it summoned kind of suck. I still don't know but it's a very necessary card for a hunter to have to be able to like uh build an aggro deck i still have a secret stash of dust my friends this card i've never seen this maybe once in my lifetime so apparently it's a bad card yeah thank you for the dust though Thank you for that golden legendary that I have to disenchant 100% of the time. Start. This is so bad. Like, how did they print a card like this? This is also epic. This is an epic fail. Probably worth disenchanting right now. Uh, and I believe Zeddy was almost trying to say that this is like a good card. Yeah, go, go to hell, Zeddy. How dare you. Uh, Gallon Hat. I still didn't get a chance to play this. But this is such a cool card. If it's playable. It's very expensive though. To just draw a card apparently. I wonder if you can play this like with aggro. I just don't know. It's so weird. How is this not good? I want to say it's good simply because it's it looks good. But everything else besides this was played. I mean, everything else was not played except this. But then this was sort of played too and it's pretty fucking powerful. I don't like Hunter specifically, but it seems like a very interesting set of cards. I'll give uh, maybe two more points. How about that? Because it wasn't overwhelming. Okay, maybe Mage actually got treated this time. Because there's a lot of cool cards. My Blast Mage is pretty cool. This is very cool. Sunset Wally is actually pretty cool. I'll give three points. Yeah, I'm gonna be very generous. But then this is fucking Cancer. This doesn't even work. I'm not sure what you do with this. And... Apparently, we have uh, beef with this card. We have tons of beef. I'll give minus two. I still don't know what this is supposed to do. I guess they printed a bad legendary and I have to punish them for it. How dare they do that? God damn it. How dare you fail on a legendary? Stuff like this doesn't piss me off as much as a card that is literally unplayable, it feels like. Even though, I, w I wish this card is, like, good. Like, can't you, like, do cool things? Like, play Astalor for one mana? This is some crazy shit, right? How did I not, never seen this before? And yet, it's apparently bad. 
Because I have to trust the metagame. If the metagame didn't play the card, then it's bad. I'll just tell you that much. If someone experimented with it, I don't care because I didn't get to see it. I'm not subscribed to enough creators, uh, apparently. Uh, what? Still haven't seen this. Maybe a couple of times. Why? It's a paladin card? What the fuck? I guess it's an epic fail then, like... Excuse me. Prismatic Beam is epic fail, coupled with Showdown, so might as well press the button twice. And then, uh, oh my god, fuck my life, bro, with this fucking card. Oh my god. And that's a thing, it. Your next holy spell costs two less. Why is this not being played? This seems like a pretty crazy card. Mana cheating is always insane. Yes, you just get bonus stats, but like... This is mana cheating, my friends. This is good. This, you can prepare... What? This is not holy? What the fuck? Okay. Okay. I don't like any of the Paladin cards. I don't want to play Paladin. There's nothing interesting about it. It's just fucking cancer. Okay, so uh, I like this. And uh, I guess that's it. Yeah. Pretty fucking sad, isn't it? A little, that's it. It's just one, one card. Wow, that's fucking sad, man. And I'll I'll give this a point because I give a fuck about effect like that. And it's probably gonna be good at some point. That's really sad. Even have their legendary. Apparently it really the kids turn into a nightmare very quickly, but only because of the synergy it has. And it still deserves, apparently. It's a bad card. And no one should fucking like it, apparently. This is what happens when it has a strong synergy. This got fucking buffed into oblivion. So now it's bad. Now I don't like it anymore. N nor, nor did I like it in the first place. For fuck's sake. Stick up is actually a super cool card. Once you learn how to play it, I guess. Maybe there's some skill involved. Maybe you don't play it on turn one, for example, right? Because you always need the effect. Uh, anything else? The coins is is fun. Wishing well can is fine. See, the problem is like the bad things are very bad. All right, so there's no such thing like super amazing card that uh, lights up your day. There's no such thing that you wake up one day and you're like, well, if I craft this card, I'll have tons and tons of fun. It doesn't fucking happen that way, my friends. So only bad cards suck up a bunch of negative points. And potentially I'm even more strict uh, than I used to be. Everything else is pretty generic. I don't care. This was not played, but it's not an epic fail. So that's cool. This is fucking epic fail. I don't like this shit. Frog spawner. Unbelievable. Somehow this is so almost epic fail. This is kind of a fail. Eventually, uh, Elemental Shaman was not played. I just have to give it a bad. Because not only I, I hate Borklers, but it wasn't even played. It's pretty crazy. Even this was not played. Which is like, actually makes it a good card then. But how the fuck was this not played? I can't believe this. Even like, I haven't, and I haven't played Shaman, I guess. Enough to worry about this. Obviously it's played in Highlander, but... Yeah, Shaman just doesn't do anything. Interesting. 
despite getting all these cards, like, it's not using any of these. Maybe it uses a little bit of that and that's it. Why? What the fuck? Why Shaman was boring? It was bad. Like, if none of these are being played, I don't understand. Like, why? Elemental Shaman was cool. I have to give it one point because, like, they tried it at least for a couple of days. And we have shit Warlock. Oh my god. Yes, Sludge Warlock is cool and stuff, and I am not gonna take away points. Uh, but what else do we have? Fracking, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, because I haven't played against it, you know? And so it's like a cool deck. I'll give it one good point. Because I literally don't see anything else. Besides Excavate and... Besides these two identities, there's no... Exclusive cards. Uh, everything just kind of plays into that one deck, into one blob, one sludge. And there's nothing interesting going on. And this is technically not an epic fail, I guess. I, it was played at some point. I even saw this getting played, I saw this getting played. Congratulations to the winners. I saw this getting played. So far, so good, right? Everything was played. This is, uh... Fascinating. Obviously, this is a fucking disgusting card. And I don't like it. But so far, everything was played. Is there anything interesting, though? No. I'll give bonus to Taunt Warrior, because it looks pretty cute. But that's about it. I could build a nice taunt warrior now. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Whatever. Flint obviously uh, actually is one of those very very good cards. Very good cards. I love it. Uh, Miracle salesman is pretty cool, but it actually turned into like a toxic card. Uh, obviously, Cactus Rager is the best card ever. Bunny Stomper, unfortunately, doesn't do anything. Trap Mechanic. Uh, there's probably not that many useless cards that don't do anything. Which I appreciate. But I expect from neutrals a little bit more. So I... Well, I do like panning. I'll tell you that much. I do like that. I'm not sure about this, because I wasn't able to, like, take advantage of it, to be honest. I still don't know how to make use of that. That sucks. Greedy part is cute. Howdy, Finn. We failed miserably with this card. I was hoping it works, but it doesn't. So, whoops. There's, it's a zero, unfortunately. It's a very sad day for us. Uh, Brewmaster, obviously, pretty cool card. Mm, I don't care. This is a cool card. Yeah, neutrals can save the day, actually. Yeah, Snake is cool. Bounty board fucking sucks balls and piss, pisses me off because of that. Just out of. Sure hatred, I have to click this button. Because uh, it made me suffer, man. This is useless. If I see three useless neutrals, this is useless. And I don't think this is played. Maybe in elemental decks, but like, what? I'll have to give it a bad. But then you have these two cards, and or maybe Chain Gang, but Chain Gang goes to Taunt Warrior, apparently. These two. I'll give Ogre Gang, like, two points. Because that's a cool meme, but that's all I can give. 
Okay. What? He's just giving me some dust. I'll buy some of that oil then. Actually, I will sell the snake oil seller with his snake oil. Yeah, for dust. That's how valuable dust is. So we haven't seen any of these cards and they're kind of stupid. Um, but we're looking for a three. So this is actually useless. This is useless. And this is useless. Congratulations, Blizzard. You fucked it up. Uh, even this is fucking useless. And I hate this card. We got this for free, I believe. Very early as well. And it was goddamn useless. I, I really hoped it wasn't, but unfortunate. Uh, I actually like the Buster quite a bit. The other Excavate cards are not as fun as the Buster. Is it actually actual minion, actual mech? It goes into a lot of things. And sometimes it doesn't go to a lot of things because people don't want to play it. But I do. I still don't know what the fuck the use of that is. I guess you get one of these and uh, cheat the game. I mean, there's no other beast that costs more than this card. I really don't care about any of these. I'll just click bad. And Reno is double bad. Because fuck this card. It's not as ridiculously OP as I thought it was going to be. But it's definitely absolutely annoying as hell. 100% is annoying. And uh, Thunderbringer actually kind of broke the game a little bit. But I will uh, excuse. Because only a little bit. We have the final score. Also, I uh, said I'm uh, going to take a look at Festival of Legends. What happened? How did I change my mind about the set? Yeah, there's some cool cards I, I appreciate. I wonder what would happen if I like evaluate some older sets. Because they had... Taken some time to ripen up, I guess. And I might have changed my mind quite a bit about these cards. Yeah, there's there's a lot of cool stuff. I definitely don't hate most of that. But Pyrotechnician got obliterated. It's still banned, isn't it? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Oh my god. And the final score is 52%. Very low score. 52. Yeah, this was actually a little bit of a disappointment. But because there's a big pool of cards, I was able to have fun, right? While suffering. So I, I have no idea how to... Put a smile on my face while exiting this video. Because the, we got bad news. Or bad lands. It's basically the lowest score we have besides the lich king mini set what happens well we will we'll never know technically i can look at it and double check what happened in the mini set oh lich king show me no that is is fine now took a while though this is fine. But Raven Dare is kind of sucks. And this kind of sucks, but no longer is being played. I guess it redeemed itself over time. Somehow, no fin is possible is not being played. Somewhat understandable. 
This was not being played. I think. Ugh. Sucks. Yeah, but there's no good cards, though. There's no, like, interesting cards at all. So, yeah, the mini set kind of sucks. Yeah, it's all shit, to be honest. Death Beetle. Oh, bad. boy, this, this sucks. It's fucking... Thaddeus kind of redeems it, the entire mini set, but yeah. Okay, that's it, guys. We did it. I was able to express all the bad feelings I have through this uh, review. And now it's over. We went down like 9%. And this is the biggest dip ever. Like, realizing that the expansion is actually pretty pathetic in the end. I didn't even actually review the rewards. Excavate rewards. One second. So, yeah, like, Warlock actually needed to be adjusted. Uh, Rogue had to be buffed, apparently. Uh, there's Warrior that is sort of, like, reasonable. I'm not too upset about Warrior, but it's just they just play Control. It's so boring. And they make a big stat, stat bomb on the board. I don't know how to feel about this. I wouldn't even, like, do a, another bad one, Excavate. And that's it, right? It's just those classes. Okay, the mage too. Mage is actually the most fine one of all because they don't necessarily win the game with this. But there is some random titan called Sargeras that pisses me off. So uh, overall, the like the reward system, I fucking hate that shit. Where's Warlock? What? I don't have a single card? Good riddance, I guess. This one is like now the least powerful one. Least playable one. I don't even know what the fuck you do with that card. Holy shit. One second, guys. No, 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 bro. Recalculation. Oh, boy. That does not look good. We lost another percentage point. Because literally the main point kind of fucking is underwhelming. Like, the rewards are pretty stupid. Yeah, whatever. See you guys next time. It sucked.